Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I wanted to reveal the Speedy Bandelier 35 size that I decided to keep. So if you watched my recent unboxing, I have this one that's brand new from the boutique, made in France, again in the dummy it bin. I was really smitten with it. There's the made in France stamp. And then I thought, what about monogram? Let me compare. So then I quickly followed up with a comparison video with a pre-loved monogram version that I got from Fashion File. And that was also really beautiful. But at the end of the day, it was a pretty easy decision for me to stick with this one. So I returned the monogram version to Fashion File already. So, I mean, doo -doo -doo -doo. I had mentioned that I'm doing an overnight staycation with a friend of mine and I'm about to leave today. So my daughter is to the left. She's out of the camera shot, but do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> she's going to send me off, so she's going to help me pack. And it's only one night, so I'm not going to pack that much. And I tend to be a light packer, but a lot of you wanted to see this, so I'm going to show you what fits. This is the Pop of Red. It is the newer model, model obviously, because I just got it. And it has the zippered compartment here. The only thing that I am curious about, and I haven't had a chance to research this, so if you have had any experience, please comment down below and share with us. I'm wondering if the red lining will bleed on anything. I do have my mini pochette in the Dami Ibin, and the red inside has not bled on anything, but Obviously, I'm packing clothes in here, and I just wonder over time if that could be an issue. So if that's, if you know anything about that, please let me know. But for the purposes of this weekend trip, I'm just going to start packing. So I'm going to grab my pair of jeans. Or I should say my daughter is going to pass them to me. So just got a pair of blue jeans. These are from Frame. And they're really comfortable and stretchy and just, you know, regular blue jeans. So I'll wear these tomorrow. So there's a pair of jeans, and then I have uh, just a crisp white shirt, buttoned down with a collar. This is from Zara. Let me turn it around. This is from Zara's, and you know, it's, it's comfortable. It's loose. It's probably not the best quality. I am on the market for another white shirt, if you have any recommendations. So I'll put that right on top. And then I'm going to also bring a black t-shirt because I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood for the white or the black tomorrow. This is uh, just a regular t-shirt from All Saints. It's got like a little bit of dust on it. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. And then my pajamas from J. Crew. I've got my pink, pink pajamas. Oops, they're like all... Yeah, these are just my hot pink pajamas matching top and bottom. I'll put that on this side. It's funny because when it's for outside clothes, I try to fold it neatly and put it in all nicely so it doesn't get wrinkled. But with pajamas, I'm just like shoving it in the corner. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I'm a little bit more carefree with my pajamas um and then i have okay so that's that so i've got a pair of socks i love these kinds of socks these are from loft they're like the no show um really low kind of ankle cut socks that i wear with my white sneakers so there's no peek through so just one pair is all i need and then a pair of undies of course you have to have a pair of undies and then just a tank top just if i want to lounge around and my glasses, I am blind as a bat. I wear contact lenses every day, so I need my glasses. And my phone charger, of course, I'm gonna need that. Nowadays, we're sadly so helpless without our phone chargers or phones, I should say. Then I just have my toothbrush and flosser and toothpaste in here. And I do have my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. Oh, I'll take this too. This is just my my flat iron. Oh, I need to organize the, cool. can you, honey, can you just wrap this around a little bit neatly? It's all, all like tangled. So I use my flat iron to actually curl the ends of my hair. So I use it as a curling iron. It actually works really well for my hair and my hair texture. This is the PM sized cosmetic pouch. I just have my makeup in here and some feminine hygiene products. So that will go in. And then I still use my old Tory Burch 
toiletry pouch or cosmetic pouch. I have had this for probably 10 years or more. It's this really fun pattern with, what is this, like nylon, waterproof, water resistant. And all of my liquidy stuff is in here. So uh, my facial toner, this is the rose petal one from Fresh. And then these are, I always use like the mini sizes if I can, the travel sizes. So when I go somewhere, this is my um, night cream. So when I go to bed, I wear this on my face and neck. This is from Eminence. It's, it's just um, an organic skincare line that I get from my spa. Daytime, I would use that toner that I showed you just now. And then I would use my dewy skin cream moisturizer from Tatcha, which I really like. Here is my facial cleanser. This is just my daily in the morning. And then I do exfoliate every other day. So I use this one. And so what I do in the morning is after I wash my face, I use the toner. And I also, I have multiple different toners. I try to rotate them. The, the other one that I really, really love is the milk one from Laneige. Love it. I've shown it before. I think in a video called like my top seven favorite beauty products, I think. So I would use a toner. I would use a moisturizer. And then I would use this, which is a tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it. It's oil free from Laura Mercier. I've been using this for over a decade. I, religiously, I don't use foundation usually. I just use this and it's very lightweight, um, good coverage. And then if it's really sunny out, I will also layer on this sunblock from MD Solar Sciences, highly recommended from my dermatologist. It's really great. And just a hair clip from J. Crew. This is just a little sample shampoo and conditioner that, that I got from Sephora when I ordered some time ago so in case I don't like the hotel shampoo and conditioner I'll just use this and an extra pair of contacts because you never know and just a little spoon for the creams so I don't dip my fingers in so this little bag is quite small but it fits a lot because of the way it's designed the shape so let's just get everything back in there oh, okay thank you honey and then my daughter has neatly coiled up my flat iron. So that's how it looks so far. It's like about up to here maybe. And then I just need to get that Tory Burch pouch in here. And I was going to bring a book because I usually read for wind down at bed time but I have a feeling if I'm going to be with my friend we're just going to gab as long as possible and then we'll just pass out out of sheer exhaustion so I won't bother with bringing a book because I don't think I'll read so there you have it wow so I can fit a few more small items in here I'm not bringing an extra pair of shoes because I'm just going to wear my same white sneakers both days but if I wanted to bring you know a slim pair of sneakers or shoes I can slip stick them in over here like, like this I think if I were to move this over I could probably fit that in but I do in general like to leave a little bit of space when I pack just in case I don't know I have to bring stuff back or I buy something just a little bit of room would be great so and I'm not going far so this is perfect it's quite heavy and I'm gonna just wear this on one shoulder we're going to cab it everywhere so I'm literally going from my apartment to the hotel, drop this off, and then we're gonna go out, hang out, and then we'll just come back and stay in the hotel the next morning, have brunch, and then take a cab with this back to my apartment. So I'm not schlepping this very far, but I will try to do an update as to how comfortable this is. This treated leather strap is not going to be nearly as comfortable as the Vachetta on the monogram version. As we all know, the Vachetta is super, super pliable and soft and just more comfortable. But at the same time, it's a little bit more high maintenance because it can get stained and watermarked. So I am hoping that either this will soften up a little bit or I will just get a wider strap at some point or maybe like a guitar strap. That'll be more comfortable. But yeah, I have it on the shortest length so I can put it on one shoulder and there we go. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. I do have an exciting 
several, ex- several, several exciting videos coming up that I've already pre-filmed, but I haven't had a chance to upload yet. So stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Okay. Bye, guys.